Brad Scott, who has been so good. He had the job on Hurd. Kicks the ball to centre wing. Wellman front spot, good mark. Lynch has had a terrific day. He kicks straight. He'd be one of the players of the match. He would certainly be in line for the Norm Smith. He's had seven marks, ten possessions, kicked two goals for it. He's done it. He's got the ball in his hands, Bruce. A bit of history here. Lee Matthews has been to the top of the mountain for a second time as coach. Once at Collingwood, and now he's done the impossible. Brisbane have won the Premiership. I've had a bit of time to reflect on it. Um, and. The funny thing is, I, I don't really remember it that clearly. It's one of those moments, um, I think in the aftermath of the game, um, it was still hard to believe, and certainly in the moment, even though we had the game won in the last five or ten minutes or whatever it was, um, because it had been such a long journey for most of us, um, and been through some hard times as well, it, it really felt like we may never get to that point. Every player in the competition is playing for that reason to, to get to that moment. So. When it finally came, it, it didn't, didn't feel real. It took a while to, to kick in. That, that is the best 60 minutes you can have as a footballer that, that hour um, after the final siren, when you're victorious on grand final day. And they've beaten the champs. And they've beaten them emphatically with an absolutely irresistible second half. 26 points, the final margin, and it's just starting to sink in to young players like Bo McDonald as Lee Matthews sprints out to his fabulous team who have stopped an amazing run by the mighty Essendon. It was so far away, it's almost, it's almost impossible to describe accurately how far away we were and, and how far away AFL relevance was um, in Queensland. Um, the Brisbane Bears had done a little bit tough, certainly didn't get the um, advantages that the, the newer teams have gotten the competition in terms of the setup, so it, was a, it felt like a long road. And then the move to Brisbane um, was, was difficult as well. There was some young talent assembled, but didn't really feel like that. Um, you know, those guys were ready to compete with the best teams in the competition. And it was, were, the platform was laid a long time before Lee Matthews arrived, but really it wasn't until he got there that he was able to pull all those pieces together. So. Um, no, I, I would have, it, was, it was my eighth season, did you say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we made a prelim final in 99, but it still didn't feel like we were quite good enough to take the next couple of steps. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really think it was until midway in 2001 that we dared to dream. Number 22, Chris Scott. It's hard to describe. It was emotional, there's no doubt about that. Um, and, and I think there's a range of emotions depending on your perspective. So Jonathan Brown, for example, was in his first season, was he? Or pretty close to. Um, and then there were, there were guys, Marcus Ashcroft, for example, who'd been on the Lions list uh, as a 15-year-old and been through some um, pretty tumultuous times. So that, that combination of unbridled joy, and, and we all felt that. But I think, I think the ones that have been around for a long time and found a little harder to, to believe what was actually happening.